Question 1. In New Jersey, the speed limit in a school zone, unless otherwise posted, is a. 25 miles per hour, b. 35 miles per hour, c. 50 miles per hour. Answer. A. 25 miles per hour. In a school zone, the standard speed limit is 25 miles per hour unless otherwise posted for safety. Question 2. When two roads intersect and there are no signs or signals, who has the right of way? A. The vehicle on the left. B. The vehicle on the right. C. The vehicle that arrives first. Answer. B. The vehicle on the right. At an intersection without signs or signals, the vehicle on the right has the right of way. Question 3. If a bus has pulled off the road into a school bus loading zone, you may pass in New Jersey at a speed of A. 10 miles per hour B. 25 miles per hour C. No passing allowed Answer A. 10 miles per hour When passing a school bus in a school bus loading zone, you must not exceed 10 miles per hour Question 4 when approaching a stationary emergency vehicle with flashing lights on a multi-lane highway, you should A. Speed up and pass quickly B. Move over a lane if safe C. Continue in your lane without changing speed Answer B. Move over a lane if safe. It's required to move over or slow down for emergency vehicles with flashing lights. Question 5. If your blood alcohol concentration, BAC, is 0.08%, you are A. Below the legal limit, B. Legally intoxicated, C. Safe to drive. Answer B. Legally intoxicated. In New Jersey, a BAC of 0.08% is the legal limit for intoxication. Question 6. When parking uphill on a street with a curb, your front wheels should be A. Turned towards the curb B. Turned away from the curb C. Parallel to the curb Answer B. Turned away from the curb This ensures the vehicle will not roll into traffic if it moves. Question 7. At a stop sign, you must A. Slow down and proceed if safe B. Stop only if there are other vehicles C. Come to a full stop and check for traffic. Answer. C. Come to a full stop and check for traffic. It's mandatory to stop fully at a stop sign. Question 8. In New Jersey, when can you use your cell phone without a hands-free device while driving? A. To check the GPS. B. To text a friend quickly. C. In emergencies only. Answer. C. In emergencies only, hands-free devices are required unless it's an emergency situation. Question 9. If you are driving behind a truck and cannot see the truck's mirrors, this means A. You are in a blind spot and should pass immediately. B. The truck driver can see you clearly. C. You are in a blind spot and should adjust your position. Answer. C. You are in a blind spot and should adjust your position. It's essential to stay visible to larger vehicles. Question 10. A steady yellow light means A. Speed up to beat the red light. B. Stop if it's safe to do so. C. The light is about to turn green. Answer B. Stop if it's safe to do so. A steady yellow light indicates the light is about to turn red. Question 11. If you are involved in an accident resulting in injuries, you must report it to the police within A. 24 hours B. 10 days C. 5 days Answer. A. 24 hours. In New Jersey, accidents with injuries must be reported within 24 hours. Question 12. When making a right turn, you should A. Always have the right of way B. Signal and turn from the nearest lane. C. Turn from the middle lane. Answer. B. Signal and turn from the nearest lane.
It's essential to be in the correct lane and signal your intention. Question 13. On a two-lane road, solid yellow lines in the center indicate A. Passing is allowed. B. Passing is not allowed. C. There are lanes for pedestrians. Answer. B. Passing is not allowed. Solid yellow lines indicate no passing zones. Question 14. If a pedestrian is in a crosswalk, you must A. Sound your horn to warn them. B. Pass behind them quickly. C. Stop and let them cross. Answer. C. Stop and let them cross. Pedestrians in crosswalks have the right of way. Question 15. Hydroplaning can occur at speeds as low as A. 10 miles per hour B. 30 miles per hour C. 50 miles per hour Answer B. 30 miles per hour Hydroplaning, where tires lose contact with the road due to water, can happen at relatively low speeds. Question 16. A diamond-shaped sign is A. A regulatory sign B. A warning sign. C. A stop sign. Answer. B. A warning sign. Diamond-shaped signs typically warn of specific road conditions and dangers. Question 17. You are required by New Jersey law to keep a safe distance behind a vehicle. A. Only in poor weather conditions. B. At all times. C. Only on highways. Answer B. At all times, following too closely or tailgating is dangerous and illegal. Question 18. If your vehicle starts to skid, you should A. Brake hard immediately. B. Steer in the opposite direction of the skid. C. Steer in the direction you want the vehicle to go. Answer C. Steer in the direction you want the vehicle to go. Avoiding sudden actions can help regain control. Question 19. A rectangular shaped sign is typically A. A stop sign. B. A yield sign. C. A regulatory or guide sign. Answer. C. A regulatory or guide sign. Rectangular signs provide guidance or enforce traffic rules. Question 20. When approaching a railroad crossing without signals or gates, you should A. Speed up and cross quickly B. Always stop C. Slow down, look, and listen for a train Answer C. Slow down, look, and listen for a train Always approach unsignaled crossings with caution Question 21 In New Jersey, child safety seats are required for children up to the age of A. 2 B. 4. C. 8. Answer. C. 8. Children up to age 8 or a weight of 80 pounds are required to be in a safety or booster C. Question 22. When driving in fog, you should use A. High beams. B. Low beams. C. No lights. Answer. B. Low beams. High beams can reflect fog and reduce visibility. Question 23. If you are 21 years of age or older, it's illegal to drive with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, that is blank or higher, A, 0.02%, B, 0.08%, C, 0.1%. Answer, B, 0.08%. For those 21 and older, a BAC of 0.08% is the legal limit in New Jersey. Question 24. When can you drive on private property to avoid a traffic signal? A. When you're in a hurry. B. Never. C. If the property owner gives permission. Answer. B. Never. It's illegal to avoid a traffic signal or sign by driving on private property. Question 25. Hand signals are used when A. Your vehicle signals are not working. B. You're driving a bicycle. C. Both A and B. Answer. 
C. Both A and B. Hand signals are an alternative to vehicle signals and are also used by bicyclists. Question 26. A round traffic sign indicates A. A school zone B. A railroad crossing C. A no passing zone Answer B. A railroad crossing Round signs in New Jersey indicate an upcoming railroad crossing. Question 27. At a red traffic light with a green arrow, you may A. Move in the direction of the arrow if you are in the proper lane. B. Not move until the light turns green. C. Move in any direction if it's safe. Answer. A. Move in the direction of the arrow if you are in the proper lane. A green arrow indicates a protected turn. Question 28. If you drive up to an intersection with a stop sign, but no crosswalk or stop line, you should A. Stop just before you reach the intersection B. Drive through if the intersection is clear C. Stop at the point nearest the intersecting roadway where you have a view of approaching traffic Answer C. Stop at the point nearest the intersecting roadway where you have a view of approaching traffic. This ensures visibility and safety. Question 29. When parking downhill on a street with a curb, your front wheels should be A. Turn towards the curb. B. Turned away from the curb. C. Parallel to the curb. Answer. A. Turn towards the curb. This prevents the vehicle from rolling into the street. Question 30. If your vehicle begins to hydroplane, you should A. Slam on the brakes B. Steer towards the skid C. Lift off the gas pedal and keep the steering wheel straight Answer C. Lift off the gas pedal and keep the steering wheel straight. Reducing speed without sudden moves can help regain traction. Question 31. When approaching a curve or hilltop and you cannot see over or around it, you should A. Hump the horn B. Speed up to pass quickly C. Slow down so you can stop if necessary Answer C. Slow down so you can stop if necessary Uncertain road conditions ahead require caution Question 32. Using the shoulder to pass another vehicle is A. Allow if the vehicle is moving under the speed limit. B. Allow during rush hour traffic. C. Illegal. Answer. C. Illegal. In New Jersey, passing using the shoulder is prohibited. Question 33. A flashing red traffic light means. A. The same as a stop sign. B. The traffic light is out of order. C. Stop and yield the right of way. Answer C. Stop and yield the right of way. It's treated like a stop sign, but you must also yield to other traffic. Question 34. To avoid a collision, you should A. Always swerve left. B. Always swerve right. C. Take the action which requires the least severe braking or swerving. Answer C. Take the action which requires the least severe braking or swerving. The least drastic action is often the safest. Question 35. The best way to handle a curve is to A. Brake hard in the curve. B. Accelerate in the curve. C. Slow down before entering the curve. Answer. C. Slow down before entering the curve. This ensures better control throughout the curve. Question 36. Before changing lanes, you should A. Sound your horn. B. Check your mirrors and blind spot. C. Signal and then move over quickly. Answer. B. Check your mirrors and blind spot. Always ensure the lane is clear before changing lanes. Question 37. When driving at night, if an oncoming vehicle fails to dim their lights, you should A. Flash your lights repeatedly. B. Look towards the right side of the road. C. Turn on your high beams. Answer. B. 
Look towards the right side of the road. This helps to avoid being blinded by the other vehicle's lights. Question 38. If you come to a four-way stop at the same time as another vehicle, you should A. Move quickly before the other vehicle. B. Yield to the vehicle on your right. C. Honk your horn and proceed. Answer. B. Yield to the vehicle on your right. The vehicle to the right has the right of way. Question 39. On multi-lane roads, the blank. Lane is intended to be used for passing slower vehicles. A. Rightmost. B. Center. C. Leftmost. Answer. C. Leftmost. The left lane is often referred to as the fast lane and is used for passing. Question 40. In New Jersey, a learner's permit allows you to drive. A. At any time of the day or night. B. Only during daylight hours. C. With certain restrictions, including times and supervision. Answer. C. With certain restrictions, including times and supervision. A learner's permit comes with specific conditions for safe learning. Question 41. When parking next to a curb, you should park within blank inches of the curb. A. 6. B. 18. C. 24. Answer. B. 18. In New Jersey, the law requires vehicles to be parked no more than 18 inches away from the curb. Question 42. A broken white line between lanes of traffic means A. You can't change lanes. B. You can change lanes if safe. C. The lane is ending soon. Answer. B. You can change lanes if safe. Broken white lines indicate separations between lanes where changing is allowed. Question 43. When the pavement is wet, reduce your speed by A. 5 to 10 miles per hour. B. 10 to 15 miles per hour. C. It is not necessary to reduce speed. Answer. B. 10 to 15 miles per hour. Wet pavement can be slippery, so reducing speed is advisable. Question 44. If you are being tailgated, you should A. Break suddenly to alert the driver. B. Speed up to put distance between you and the tailgater. C. Slow down and encourage the tailgater to pass. Answer. C. Slow down and encourage the tailgater to pass. This is the safest way to handle such a situation. Question 45. You should signal your intention to turn or change lanes at least, blank, feet before the turn or lane change. A. 50. B. 100. C. 150. Answer. B. 100 in New Jersey, signaling at least 100 feet before a turn or lane change is required. Question 46. It is illegal to park. A. In a crosswalk. B. 15 feet from a fire hydrant. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. Parking in these areas poses safety risks. Question 47. The best way to prevent skidding on a wet road surface is to A. Drive in the tracks of the vehicle in front of you. B. Brake hard when you feel the car beginning to skid. C. Keep a safe following distance and reduce your speed. Answer. C. Keep a safe following distance and reduce your speed. This provides better control over the vehicle. Question 48. When making a left turn from a two-way road onto a four-way highway, you should A. Turn just before the center of the intersection. B. Turn close to the center divider. C. Swing wide to the left before turning. Answer. B. Turn close to the center divider. This ensures a smooth and safe turn onto the highway. Question 49. When approaching a school bus with its red lights flashing, you must a. Stop and remain stopped until the lights stop flashing. B. Pass with caution if no children are present. C. Honk and proceed. Answer. A. 
Stop and remain stopped until the lights stop flashing. The law requires vehicles to stop for school buses with flashing red lights. Question 50. Driving with headphones or earbuds in both ears. A. Is allowed if you can still hear emergency vehicles. B. Is only allowed for hands-free phone calls. C. Is illegal. Answer. C. Is illegal. In New Jersey, it's illegal to drive with headphones or earbuds in both ears as it can impair the driver's ability to hear important sounds on the road.